forest ecologist and have, for the last 20-30 years have been had a main focus on studying old growth forests in British Columbia both on the coast and the dry forests of the southern interior and we've really focused on understanding how forests work in the absence of people making changes to them and then looked at ways to use that understanding to design better strategies for conservation and management. One of the interesting things about this is when I started, everybody said, why well, study old growth forests? There aren't gonna be any more left in a few years. That was in the early 80s. By the time I finished my PhD, anything about old growth forests was of great interest and a hot topic and went from being sort of irrelevant to being in great demand and so I've really been fortunate that my, essentially my whole career uh, I've been working on things that were of great importance to people. I, another big interest of mine has been uh, looking at natural disturbance regimes. So uh, we've had a big focus on looking at fire and interactions between fire and changing climate both in the past and, and in the future and understanding how different management strategies both in parks and in sort of uh, forest managed for this for forestry how that relates to fire regimes we've done a lot of really uh, work that turned out to be quite amazing on the history of fire in temperate rainforest a wet temperate rainforest Clackwat Sound uh, Great Bear Rainforest Haida Gwaii and have shown that like you might expect for a really wet forest fire isn't really there very much but we were able to show things like uh, in some parts of Clackwat Sound, there's, there's places that haven't had a fire in 6,000 years or 8,000 years. These are some of the longest fire intervals, intervals between fires, that have been reported anywhere in the world. These are really wet forests, and so what, the, what that means is when there's no fire, there's no, or no other big disturbances that kind of kill a lot of trees in the forest and reset things, you sort of have forest that just gets older and older and older, and it's sort of the archetype of, of, of old growth forest. The last time I offered my class in Haida Gwaii, we had a bunch of people who'd never really had a totally immersive experience in kind of BC coastal rainforests. And at the end of the class, there were, there were 19 people in the class, in the class, there were about eight of them that came up to me with tears in their eyes and said this was a life-changing experience. Uh, one guy who had, I think, really never been out of the forest, out of the city, out of the city into kind of that kind of forest, and it was said that this was transformational, and that's pretty hard to beat. So, I mean, if you can make a difference for people, kind of open up their their eyes to uh, seeing what we have, to seeing how people are living there, to understanding that, and they can take that home and kind of feel like their life has changed. That's very, 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 very good.